In this question, we have a gallium atom and we're going to be figuring out its electron configuration. So first step is to go to our periodic table, find gallium and figure out how many electrons we have. So gallium is here in our periodic table. So we're looking for the atomic number, which is the top left, that's 31. That tells us the number of protons. So gallium has 31 protons in it. Since it's a neutral gallium atom, we must have the same number of electrons so that they cancel out to give us a total charge of zero. So we must have 31 electrons to match our 31 protons. Okay, now we're gonna draw our electron configuration. However, it's asking for noble gas notation. So what that means is, instead of writing out a really long electron configuration with all of our sublevels shown, we're gonna use a shorter method where first we have a noble gas, which is, if we go to our periodic table, one of these elements in group 18. That's these elements here. These are our noble gases. And we're going to use a kind of shortcut, which is to say we're going to have the electron configuration of one of these noble gases plus a few more. And that's our shortcut for our noble gas electron configuration. So our first step is to figure out which noble gas we're going to choose for our um, electron configuration. So we know we have gallium, which is shown here. It's in period four. So if we were to find the noble gas that had less electrons than gallium, it would have to be something above here in the periodic table because krypton here you can see has 36 protons or 36 electrons in a neutral atom. So it can't have more. So it's not gonna be krypton or any of these higher up, xenon or radon. Argon, however, argon has 18 protons and therefore 18 electrons in the neutral atom, which is less than 31, which is how many gallium have. So argon would be a good choice for the noble gas that has less electrons than gallium, but still the largest number possible. We wouldn't want to choose helium or neon because even though they have less electrons, we'd still end up writing out a bunch of things we didn't need to because argon has the highest number available that's still less than that in our uh, element that we're looking at. So argon's gonna be our kind of base for our electron configuration. So let's choose that here. We've got argon. Okay, then we're gonna figure out where the remaining electrons go. So first, let's just write out our electron configuration same as normal so we can see what's happening here. So I'm going to go ahead and write out our sublevels the same as I have been doing. So we had 1s, then 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 3d, 4s, 4p, 4d, 4f, 5s, 5p, 5d, 5f, etc. It goes on to 6 and 7 as well, but I'm going to stop writing there for now. And remember, we're filling them diagonally. So they're filled 1s first, then 2s, then 2p, then 3s, then 3p, and then 4s, then 3d, 4p, and 5s, then 4d, and 5p, etc. So this is the order that they're filled. We have 32 electrons in gallium. And we've got to remember the s orbitals or S sub-energy levels only have one orbital, which fits up to two electrons. So S sub-levels can fit two electrons total. P sub-levels have three orbitals, which each fit two electrons. So that's a total of six electrons that can fit in a P level. D orbitals have, uh, sorry, D sub-levels have five orbitals. They can fit up to 10 electrons. And F sub-levels have seven orbitals. They can fit up to 14 electrons. So let's just quickly go through and write our electron configuration for gallium. So it's got 31 electrons. The first two are gonna be in 1s. So we're gonna have 1s with two. The next two are gonna go in 2s. So we're gonna have 2s, two. 
that's four electrons total. Next, they're going to go into the 2p level. Remember, p can fit up to six. So that's 2p6. Then they're going to go into the 3s level. So that's going to be 3s2. Then they're going to go into the 3p level. So that's going to be 3p. And let's just check how many electrons we've used so far. 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 6, that's 10, plus 2, that's 12. So we've got 12 electrons used up so far. We've got 31 total. So we're going to keep filling them for now. So 3p6. So far, that's a total of 18 electrons used. Now let's just go back and check in our periodic table. Argon, that's the noble gas that we're using as our base, has 18 electrons. So we've actually just written out the electron configuration for argon. So let's just bear that in mind. That is the electron configuration for argon. Okay, let's finish up. So we've used up 18 electrons so far. We've got to get to 31. Our next subshell to fill, remember, isn't 3D. It skips to 4s according to our diagonal arrows shown here. So next we're doing 4s, which can fit up to 2. So that gets us to 20 total electrons. Then we fill 3d, which can fit up to 10. We have 20 electrons used so far. We have 31 in total. So we've still got 11 more electrons to use. So the 3d is going to be filled up with 10 electrons. Finally, we're going to fill our 4p subshell. And so far, we've used 30 electrons. We've only got one left. So our 4p subshell is going to have one electron in it. And that's all, our, all of our electrons used up. So overall, I've written out the entire electron configuration. But we can see the first part of that is just the electron configuration of argon. So instead of writing out that whole thing, I can do a shortcut, which is to just write argon first in these square brackets to mean the electron configuration of argon. And then I skip straight to just adding on this extra part here. So in our answer box, we've got argon chosen already. Then we've got 4s2 being filled. Then 3d10. And finally, 4p1. So the noble gas notation is just a shortcut. It means instead of writing out the whole thing, we can cut out whatever the nearest noble gas was, which for us was argon, and just add on then the extra bit. Okay, so final question, how many valence electrons do we have? So looking at our uh, electron configuration, four is the highest energy level filled. And we've got 4s and 4p with electrons in them, with a total of three electrons there. Remember the 3d electrons don't count for our valence because they're an energy level three, which isn't the highest energy level, four is. So here we have three valence electrons.